So here's where you're hiding. Yeah, this is my only refuge from the taunts and accusations of the townspeople. Thief. Bart, we can't just let her get away with this. Give it up, Lise. She's a criminal mastermind. She's got 108 IQ, she reads at a fifth grade level, and... Ooh, her hair smells like red Fruit Loops. Yeah? Well, I eat Fruit Loops for breakfast. Because of last week's problems, we'll be taking certain precautions with this week's collection. We really shouldn't have let them do this. It can't be helping his self-esteem. Now for our offertory reading, Lisa Simpson, who we'll all be keeping an eye on. I know most of you have already judged my brother guilty without any proof. But doesn't the Bible teach us, judge not lest ye be judged, Reverend? I think it may be somewhere towards the back. There is someone among us with a guilty conscience. After much soul searching, I decided it would be wrong of me to name names. But I urge that guilty person here, under the eyes of God, to come forward to confess and save yourself from the torment of your own personal hell! Uh, I smelled some marijuana smoke in Vietnam! I was the one that canceled Star Trek! I left my Porsche keys inside Mrs. Glick. I am talking to the collection money thief! Only you can come forward and end this injustice! Oh, what the heck? It was Jessica Lovejoy! <laughs> That's the collection money. Oh, yeah. Smells like church. I guess it's obvious what's happened here. Bart Simpson has somehow managed to sneak his bedroom into my house. Well, come on. Use your imaginations. No, Dad. I did it. It's your classic cry for attention. Well, young lady, I suppose we brought you home from boarding school a little prematurely. I was expelled, Dad. Remember the pipe bomb, the glee club brawl? Remember the school chapel collection plate? Bringing Exploding in toilets the sheaves, the bell. bringing Come in on, the Come on, Dad! Sheaves. Attention to me! Be uh, I think you all owe my son an apology. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.